The West Lauderdale baseball team is one that's filled with traditions and superstitions. And when things are going right, why change them up? For the last few years, every time the Knights travel north, there's always one place they have to go. Ten Lizzie. The ten Lizzie. We did the Ten Lizzie every, uh, every game and stuff, and uh, it hadn't failed us yet. If you're traveling up Highway 45 and passing through West Point, you'll find a 1995 year-long tradition. The Tin Lizzie stands tall and smells great. The West Lauderdale baseball team has been making reservations and eating there for the last three years, every time that they travel north for a game. They get the choice of a burger, country fried steak, or some chicken tenders. The guys always say to go for... I always get a burger. I get the hamburger. I got the hamburger. We went to Corinth. Uh, I was two for two or three for three, and I was like, I got to keep the hamburger. You know, we're some superstitious people, so. <laughs> but Coach Smith says. Hamburger or a country fry steak. And, of course, no meal would be complete without. Always sweet tea. I get a sweet tea. I do get a sweet tea. And we know sweet tea is the drink of the South, so. Unless you're Coach Smith. Then he says, go for the Coke. Since the North State champs say it's the best, I decided to take a trip for myself. I finally made it here to the iconic Tin Lizzie that the West Lauderdale Knights baseball team knows so well. It's only fitting that we just head right inside and get a taste of this food and see what all the hype is all about. Thank you so much for calling Tin Lizzie. This is Macy. How can I help you? Yeah, you have a drink. Yes, please. Can I get a sweet tea? All right. I'll be right back. Awesome. Sure. Thank you. Now it's time to order the goods. I'll go ahead and get the burger and a country fried steak since it works so well for the nights. Um, the country fried steak. And while we wait, let's check out Just where all the pepper. magic happens. Yeah, this is Five Kitchen. And what you order, a cheeseburger and a country fried. We're gonna make it so right for you, girl. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. The meal couldn't be complete without a little sweet treat at the end. And the team will tell you that the Tin Lizzie knows the best way to do it. One, one day we bought two whole chocolate pies and split it up and stuff. We're going we're gonna to treat them. As long as they keep winning, we're going to treat them. And now I've officially got to say, I think it's the best. Miss Buffy, the Tin Lizzie's owner, says that she loves when the Knights come to visit her. Well, when the kids choose it. It may, you know, because they usually like McDonald's or, you know, something of that nature. So when they decide to come in and eat burgers and hamburger steaks and they love the atmosphere, that's, it says a lot. It's what we strive for. <laughs> Miss Buffy says that the Knights have helped her bring in other teams to the restaurant as well, and she always appreciates the service. They're actually cheering on the Knights as they prep for state. Speaking of that, West Lauderdale is set to take on Purvis on Wednesday at 4, and we want to thank Meridian Mutual Federal Credit Union for their sponsor sponsorship of the 2023 MHSAA State Championship coverage. Now, East Central does end their season.